Now you see me. Now you don't! Hey guys, it's the Black Critter guy. Sorry if my voice sounds a bit off. I'm kind of sick at the moment. And sorry I've been kind of MIA for the last week. I had NitroCon last week. I'm still editing some of those videos. And I had two exams that I just finished yesterday. So I had no real free time to watch any movies or review any movies or animes. But I'm back now with the Vengeance. Again, my voice is a little raspy. And I just got back from seeing Now You See Me. Merely for the fact that The Purge got sold out, so that review will come probably tomorrow. But, here's Now You See Me. So the basic premise of Now You See Me follows these four magicians known as the Four Horsemen who perform these elaborate tricks in which they steal money from a bank or a certain person and the FBI are trying to figure out how they're pulling this off. But the thing is, as they try to look closely into how they do it, the less they actually see. Now actually, I was very excited to see this movie. One, it deals with magic. I love magic. Two, it's kind of like this crime thriller, which I always love to see how a story unfolds. And three, the actors in this movie are just some of the top-notch actors you could put in a movie. You got Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Jesse Eisenberg, Mark Ruffalo, Isla Fisher, Dave Franco, who actually kicks a lot of ass. I would love to see him as an action star. And finally, Woody Harrelson. That's an all-star cast if ever there was one. And it has this whole mystique to it that keeps you engaged to figure out what is going on and how the story is going to unfold. And I gotta say, guys, I really enjoyed this movie. It might not have been the best movie I've seen this year, but I had a lot of fun watching it. Like I mentioned earlier, the actors in this film are some of the top-notch actors working in Hollywood today, and they all do a fantastic job. The one that really stood out to me, though, is Mark Ruffalo. I don't know what has happened, but ever since Mark Ruffalo came off of the Avengers, I've just been loving him more and more. I mean, his character is witty, he has a likability to him, he was a good character. And of course, Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, Jesse Eisenberg, and Woody Harrelson, they kill it. And Dave Franco, I thought was pretty good, although I wish they gave him more lines, but he had a really intense action scene and it really convinced me that maybe one day Dave Franco can be a promising action hero. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. The story for the most part was very intriguing and I love to see how it unfolded although there were bits and pieces of cliche-ness sprinkled about. One in particular that really stood out to me although I really didn't hate it because I loved the execution of it but it was a bit cliche was the relationship between Mark Ruffalo's character and the French girl who was Shoshana in Inglorious Bastards. I love their relationship I love their banter and I love their chemistry although I have seen it in other films like this one before. And like I said earlier, I had a lot of fun watching this movie. I wasn't really bored throughout the film. I love seeing these four magicians pull off these elaborate magic tricks in order to get back at the man or to be one step ahead of everybody else. I thought that was awesome to watch. Now a few things that did bother me is that some scenes in the movie just felt like they were going on too long. The pacing of the film could have been handled a little better. The prologue in the first magic act I felt like went on for too long. They could have condensed that a little bit. I really would have loved to have seen more and known know more about the four horsemen. We really don't get a deeper understanding of these characters. We get bits and pieces of their personalities and we know that Jesse Eisenberg's character and Isla Fisher's character, they had a relationship once before, but that's really all you get for their development. And lastly, there's this whole big plot point dealing with the thing called the eye. They don't really explain that much or explore as much and I don't want to give away too much what the eye is. But I really would have loved for them to elaborate more on what the eye really was. But overall, like I mentioned earlier, I had a lot of fun watching Now You See Me. It's a fun summer movie and that's all I really wanted it to be. The acting was solid, the writing and the story was very intriguing, and I'm going to give the film a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's not great, but it's a rather enjoyable film. But anyway, what did you guys think of this film? Did you like it a lot? Did you find it boring and you saw the twist coming? And let me know, what is the best twist you've ever seen in a movie? Comment below. Let me know. And since I've been MIA for almost a week now, there are a bunch of things I need to catch you guys up on. First off, I will be doing a bunch of reviews coming out. The first one I'm trying to do is the Purge review. I actually went to go see the Purge tonight, and 
it got sold out, so I couldn't go see it. So I have to wait till tomorrow to go see it. So I'll probably see it tomorrow, and the review will be up maybe Saturday. We'll have to wait and see. I also plan to review Clone High. I just finished watching it again, so that review will be coming soon. And I did watch an anime last week. I was going to review, but I got caught up with Nitrocon stuff. And speaking of Nitrocon stuff, I'm going to have a bunch of videos coming out on my other channel, Nightcast Studios. It's kind of like my baby project. On a bunch of things that I saw in NitroCon. So be sure to check that out, including an exclusive interview with the Crispin Freeman. I'll probably put links below once they're up and ready out. Go check out Nightcast Studio, subscribe to it, make sure you come and support us. But until then, guys, hit that subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the Black Critic Guy. Like this video if you really enjoyed it. And I'm Tony Watley II, sounding sick as hell from the Black Critic Guy. Till then, peace, YouTube.